Ja, eerste moment in eerste. Okay. Is that open more OJ stuff, man? That guy I can tackle. Uh, will there be enough space for him? For I you? don't know for Opa. He's much bigger than, than I am. Mrs. Tracy, you know what I forgot? What? My pre workout. Ooh, then my you must goodness. go without it. I think. Ops, <laughs> what's the stuff you must take in, apart from maybe. The rugby stuff, is there anything else like you feel you've got to take it on tour when you go? Bro, obviously my music, my AirPods are the most, uh, one of the most important things that I have to carry. Yeah, I like to take my own towel. I know guys use the hotel towels and sometimes take it with them to the game and then bring it back. Mm. But I like to have my own towel. I always forget my socks. I think oh, for yes. Mr. Mano, Ash, our uh, manager, a bit of a, a yes, bit of a task. Uh, I've asked him so many times when he socks. Ruby, where's, where's, um, funny, where's your pillow? You always take a pillow when you go. Says to Robert, I forgot my pillow. You forgot your pillow? Yeah, so it's gonna yes. be a long bus. Good luck, good luck, brother. Question from the Hilux: What's your best accent or impersonation? Opa, you go, yeah, you, you love I don't have accents. You got that, accents, you I got don't impersonations. Have accents. I don't have, I don't have accents, bro. Opa, I can literally tell you now, I can say a guy and the team and then you bro, can, I can do impersonate a walk. I can impersonate a walk, not an accent. Impersonate Wim Jan there at the gym. No, I can't do that, dude. Mana kreef jou apparaat. There you go, there you go. Kreef jou apparaat. Elk in drie sets by you. Vicky? Ah, you can do Vicky. I can't impersonate Victor. Ah, boys. No, you did the other day. Okay, next next question, please. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is very awkward. I don't know. Do you have any embarrassing stories? I was uh, still a youngster, and we were in the gym doing leg press. But like a while before that, I felt my stomach stomach wasn't great, <laughs> and there was a few girls in the equipment next to me, and when with. Doing leg press, you get quite a bit of pressure coming. <laughs> fair, fair, and I fair. knew one of the girls as well, so yeah, it just it's always uh, stayed with me. So it's a bit embarrassing now. What's the funniest trip you've heard on the field? Uh, last year's preseason against the Griffins in Valcom. Yeah. Yeah, last year, the guys on the bench were chirping. Yeah, Griff, Opa, take me as pop, take me as pop. So then I started laughing. And the second half, the coach came to me and he said, "Don't let these guys get in your head. Don't let these guys get in. like they're not they're not in my head." Because I was <laughs> I was laughing, but they actually yeah. kind of were in my head. A lot of things. I remember we, I was young and I still had hair. Obviously, I had <laughs> hair. And my hair was quite long. I like most guys do after school, you grow your hair a little bit. And we were playing the leopards in the twenties, and they had a number nine. We were sort of rivals from school. Uh, from school. Yes, and he kept going at me and all going, I think you're a model and I don't know what to cause in my hair and stuff. And thankfully one of our teammates was a, was a sharp enough to come up with something and he said, yeah, he's a model, he's your role model. <laughs> <laughs> Does any one of you have any superstitions um, regarding away games or wherever you play? Yeah, so I think with me, um, Mrs. Casey, uh, <laughs> I don't really have superstitions anymore because obviously you've been playing rugby for such a long time, ne? Oh. Uh, but I know of a friend though that used to have this superstition where he didn't bath the day on the on game day. Oh. <laughs> so he just wake up and just brush his teeth and dude, why are you not showering? He's like, no, I don't shower before before really? games. Really? Oh, okay, yeah. Then he just showers afterwards. But yeah. Okay. I've yeah, heard guys who they do all their strapping, they strap their ankles, their knees, and then even the line out strapping. And then they go take a shower with the strapping on. Oh. And then they shower. To a, I don't know, it does. Maybe the water makes the strapping sits better. And then he, he dries himself and then he, he, he gets dressed for the game. But he takes his shower always before the game with all his strapping on. Okay. Funny, eh? But we had a coach uh, when I was younger. Like, he gets so stressed out, he, he normally didn't watch much of the game. He just sat in the toilets in the, <laughs> in the change yeah. rooms because he just couldn't handle it. Sure like, he, and then, like, after games, he used to ask the guys, okay, what, what was, was the score? score? <laughs> <laughs> like, did we win, but he just, it's crazy. He's, you know, 
Hey, Opa, is there any song, a specific song that you listen to before a game to get you hyped up in the zone? Yeah, there, there actually is. Um, it's um, J. Cole, you know an artist called J. Cole? I do not. Oh, you don't? J. Cole's uh, sideline stories. I wish somebody would make guidelines. I don't want to get up by the sidelines. Uh -huh. It's actually pretty, it's a pretty, so that's my song. It actually, it always works. It always oh, works. Really? Yeah. I love when they always play Sweet Caroline and oh, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Can you soggy to Sweet Caroline, eh? Well, not really. <laughs> I think you can soggy. Mrs. Casey, would you soggy with me when you play with uh, Sweet Caroline? Uh, yeah, of course I will. I must just get my knees fixed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like we're on time, guys. Yeah, thank goodness, eh? Danny, thank you so much for helping us with the lift. Will you pick us up on Sunday again, please? It depends. If you win, I'll be here. Otherwise, I don't know about that. We better win. We better win. We better win. Excellent Sunday. Okay. Thank you, Tony. You must greet me, my son. Cheers. Love you. Bye.